Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm Dan Merle here with my review of Parasite, the latest from South Korean director Bong Joon-ho. This is the film that won the Palme d'Or, the top prize at this year's Cannes Film Festival. It opened in South Korea earlier this year. It was a huge box office hit and is now playing in very limited release here in North America. This past weekend, uh, it did huge business in just three theaters in New York and Los Angeles. It is slowly expanding to more and more theaters. And and if this is going to be a bit of a short review, and if it seems like I'm withholding information, it's because that's intentional on my part. Uh, I had sort of heard through the grapevine that uh, you you don't want to know too much about this movie going in, not because there's a huge twist or anything like that, although there certainly are twists and turns in the storytelling, but more because the storytelling of the film is structured in a way that you get a layer peeled back every 15 or 20 minutes that reveals what's actually going on uh, as you meet new characters and as you see these people interact with each other. The very basic setup that I will give you is that this is a movie about two families whose lives intersect with each other, uh, how they affect each other's lives, and then the discovery of how others that we meet and discover as the film goes on uh, are also affected by both families uh, in hidden levels in ways that we really don't understand until the movie reveals them to us. I really, really, really like this movie. Um, it is definitely one to watch for the Best International Film Oscar that's going to be given out next year. And I think what's really great about it is, while it is very much uh, a Korean story, the themes are very universal. It addresses them, but not in an obvious way, uh, but, but themes about class, themes about uh, how we treat the people that we interact with every single day, and how that treatment can be visited back upon us. Uh, about what uh, what dreams are, what dreams can be, what dreams should be, um, all wrapped up in very interesting characters. As I mentioned, there are two families. They're both very different. The main family that we follow, as we discover more about each family member and as they insert themselves into the story in different ways, we also learn more about their past, more about their time together. And uh, ultimately, we see... Uh, a big collision of worlds and some very serious consequences that come from that. Uh, no, I'm not going to elaborate any more other than to say that I, I think if you're looking for the best of what foreign uh, filmmaking or international filmmaking, which is as the Oscars have rebranded it and which I also enjoy, if you're looking for the best of what international film has to offer right now, I think that Parasite is a must watch as far as getting the full picture of the world cinema scene in 2019. Uh, it's universal, but it also feels current, uh, not in a way that's gonna date it, but in a way that is obviously very deeply personal to uh, Bong Joon-ho. Uh, he is such a great director and has now really hit uh, 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 the zeitgeist a few times uh, with Snowpiercer, with Okja. Um, I really do think that uh, the more he operates and, and, and constructs these, little stories that he's constructing in his, in his head. And a lot of them, you know, Snowpiercer also had uh, themes of class, but not in a way that makes this film seem derivative of that one. Although he said in interviews that this film was sort of uh, incepted in his mind while he was working on Snowpiercer. But I really, really, really do think that, he, and hope that he will continue to grow as a filmmaker, continue to weave these very interesting, very mysterious, um, uh, sometimes dark, but often also darkly funny stories um, that can reflect how we are. Uh, it doesn't just have to be about Korean culture, although this is very much steeped in Korean culture, but it also reflects uh, human nature. And uh, uh, Parasite, I think, is both one of the most darkly funny and um, meaningful films uh, of the year that I've seen so far. Uh, I, I've been on a great run of movies. I, I reviewed Jojo Rabbit earlier this week. Uh, that is one of my favorite films of 2019 so far. Parasite, you can also add to that list as one of my favorite films of the year. Um, it's probably not for everyone, um, but if you're looking for uh, maybe 
uh, an international film to 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 really jump into and see what's going on in the scene today. I, I highly recommend Parasite. I highly recommend Parasite to uh, anyone. Uh, it's about two hours and 15 minutes long. It didn't really feel its length to me. As I mentioned, things escalate as the film goes on. So it picks up steam and picks up momentum. It's a bit of a slow burn at the beginning, but it's setting up things that really pay off down the road. So that's a big recommendation for me on Parasite. As I mentioned, you can check it out now in very limited release uh, in North America. Uh, you can also, uh, hopefully if it doesn't play near you, uh, it'll be available on streaming. It'll be available uh, on uh, Blu-ray and, and uh, to rent uh, soon as well. And as I mentioned, I think this is going to be a big movie to look for when award season rolls around as we go into next year. That's my review of Parasite. What did you see? What did you think of the movie? Let us know in the spoil in the comments below. Please, no spoilers. And as always, thanks for watching. We'll be back very soon with even more reviews of not just the big blockbuster films, but the awards films, and hopefully some more indies and international films i'm trying to get more of those into the hopper as we go uh, and as we close down 2019 and get into award season thanks for watching till next time